So here's some drama for you. For those of you who didn't know, uh, uh, the, 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 the cooperative that runs my lovely website, uh, uh, Whiteleaf, which was founded by White Nervosa, blessed to White Nervosa, we all love White, we love White Nervosa, uh, recently, White Nervosa and the co-op as a whole uh, had a conflict with a uh, with a a content creator by the name of Rose Wrist. Some of you uh, know that Rose Wrist uh, uh, and I, uh, Rose Wrist doesn't like me. Okay, we me and Rose Wrist had a debate some time ago, and then Rose Wrist ended up writing and doing some pretty unhinged things. Recently. Rose Wrist participated in a insane harassment, uh, in an in insane harassment against a, a, a streamer who uses the White Leaf Co-op services. And uh, when I say contributed to it, I mean he literally was a contributor to a manifesto written targeting the streamer Keffels. And in addition, uh, uh, he argued. It, his part of the contribution was arguing that actually Cloudflare should reinstate Kiwi Farms, a harassment website that was so heinously bad that it actually forced Cloudflare's hands, uh, which is almost unprecedented. Cloudflare almost never drops people's uh, drops protection of uh, of people from their services. They did it for the Daily Stormer which is a neo-Nazi website, and they have now done it for Kiwi Farms. It's quite uncommon for them to act on that, and they were very hesitant to, but it did happen. Um, so all of, this is to, all of this background information was to say that White Nervosa, the founder of the White Leaf uh, Co-op, which provides this wonderful website and many, many other websites, recently... Uh, uh, discontinued business with Rose Wrist. And that has become a massive drama to the degree that another manifesto was written about White Nervosa, and White Nervosa has responded to it. So now if this sounds like a little bit of like uh, nitty gritty drama, it definitely is. But it's very relevant because this lovely website and the lovely website of many others is of course made and maintained very charitably by uh by the white forest co-op and i mean they don't charge us shit they are very good to us they are very very good to us streamers they make it possible for us to actually uh succeed at all um yeah vosh is the vosh has basically made it possible for that vosh is the primary funder of the white forest collective and he did that intentionally because he wanted other streamers to be able to make a better living, which is pretty poggers. Um, yeah, they don't, they, if they like, they, it's a long story. Anyway, White Nervosa wrote a blog, and I think it's important that we read it. So, uh, you guys want to do it? Let's fucking do it. Let's read the blog. We're going to read this little blog that was written by White Nervosa about the situation. So you guys can get all of it laid out in one place. Rose wrist or the need for brevity. Quick backstory. White Forest did not exist when Rose wrist site started. October 2020 to April 2021, I personally paid for each site without issue until October 2022, when Rose Wrist made a public statement of contribution and endorsement for a document we, the co-op, took issue with. He disputes the reasons we took issue with, with it, saying, the claims that the document cast doubt on individual suicides or that we are in favor of or principally calling for the reinstatement of Kiwi Farms is absurd. In the document, it states, however, it would be my hope after this document that Cloudflare release a more concise statement for dropping Kiwi Farms or else reinstates their service. Huh. Damn, that's curious. Just a blatant lie. This is due to their displeasure with the statement Cloudflare already made. If another isn't that meets their expectations, then reinstatement of service. For casting doubt, the statement near, uh, near someone... Uh, claim to have committed suicide would raise a red flag. 
This leads to a misleading statement. No news of near an American suicide in Tokyo ever emerged. Odd because it leads to citations of seven different news outlets, outlets reporting on this, one confirming their death. Ignoring that, it is the line in bold, there is no conclusive evidence that, grind, that Gin, J, Ginder is actually dead. That is near. So this is, these two paragraphs are, uh, oh, is this the, uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, the archive. Uh, this is talking about the documents right here. So this is quoting from the document and contesting, uh, basically, the, to summarize real quickly for those who might not, this is a little unclear if you're not 100% familiar with what happened. I recognize that now. I didn't read this thing off stream in full before, before reading this. But uh, to, to, clarify, to clarify for you, um, in the document, uh, uh, there was a claim made that a trans person who was bullied to death by Kiwi Farms uh, did not actually die. This is a conspiracy theory. There has yet been no evidence to support this, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Uh, it is simply and shortly uh, a horrible and disgusting right-wing tactic to cast aspersions uh, and seed doubt on the idea that Kiwi Farms is a rotten place. It is fucking terrible, okay? It is terrible. So, uh, it completely makes sense to me on multiple levels, obviously, why White Forest would not be okay with hosting for free the services of a content creator that contributed significantly to a document claiming that a trans person's suicide was fake, okay? There we go. That's just the clarification. Point by point, Rose Wrist expected an apology for these. I will explain why that is silly, ignorant, or superfluous. Now, this is quoting from Ro Rose Wrist's response, which we will not be reading the entirety of Rose Wrist's response because, holy shit, are you kidding me? I am not reading another DGG manifesto. We will, we will respond to this one and not fucking read the entire bullshit that this guy posted. Claim one, not being given a chance to make my case during the White Forest vote. You are not a member of White Forest. You could make your case after you were told this, but instead you said, okay, I understand. So R Rose Wrist was mad that he didn't have an opportunity to vote. No one that I... To my knowledge, no one who is hosted by White Forest is actually a part of the co-op. The co-op is all the programmers who make White Forest happen, and then there are people who donate to fund White Forest. So he wanted a vote, but he's not actually a part of the co-op. Two, not informing me that such a vote was taking place. You are not a member of White Forest. Once again, his website was hosted for free by White Forest, but he was not a member of White Forest. Three, not informing me that service to my website had been discontinued. This is not new and not unique to Rose. Heem GG, O Lake GG, Surus CC, Crave Live, Revere Life. It is needless. They it, it is needless. They aren't using the website. Rose didn't notice for over four days that the website was no longer up. A community member asked them if they sold their domain. Four, redirecting the server, my domain was pointing to a website I am publicly opposed to. You're publicly opposed to dropkiwifarms.net? You do know it was successful in getting Cloudfares to drop Kiwi Farms, which you said uh, thinking you were opposed to was absurd, even though in the document it states that they're opposed to it. Keffels didn't make the site and isn't the host of the site, but otherwise still, being against something uh, like that because it has a Keffels emote on the website is reactionary by definition. Five not even informing me that the said redirection was taking place. This seems like point three and four, but put together. Six, not following up and providing information regarding the handling of my chatter's sensitive information and connections. You later state that your site's data was deleted upon your request, but that isn't what you meant by that request, so I'm un unsure if you wrote this part in without revision. Whoops. Just a, just a oops there. Just factually incorrect there. Seven, not assisting a technologically inept ex-client in resetting a domain explicitly purchased for the utilization of their services. 
My knee-jerk reaction was to wonder why you didn't search how you pointed your domain to our servers and that and just did that process in reverse. Upon looking it up, I discovered you knew how to do it. Your ineptitude varies depending on how it looks. And here we have a screenshot from Discord messages from White Nervosa explicitly telling Roserist how to change it in the past, back in 2021. So he he all he had to do was search his own chat history with White Nervosa, and she had already taught him how to do it. I acted poorly towards Rose Wrist when they first mess messaged me. Apologizing to them the following morning, they condemned my intoxication and insomnia as not professional conduct. However, shining on the issue the best as it suggests that when someone sends me a message on my personal account at 4 a.m., I am representing anyone but myself. So what White Nervosa is saying here is that I am allowed to be drunk on my own time, you messaged me on my personal account, not my professional account, at 4 a.m. This is DMing a McDonald's employee because your order was fucked up. This is what you did, and this is how you're acting. As I said, your appreciation for two years of my work rings hollow. Stay safe. Damn. God damn. Just gotta say, big, big shout out of support to White Nervosa. As always, White Nervosa is based as always. White Nervosa is reasonable as always. While I do think that there was definitely some spite and pettiness uh, involved in the little redirect, I do not think it was a action that at all uh, accounts to the sorts of things that Rose Wrist accused White Nervosa of, and it's a very easy thing to fix. Rose Wrist can jerk one off in the shower and cry about it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, the, 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 just so you know, like, uh, White Nervosa has been very clear in the past that, like, if our sites, if our sites don't get used, then she will basically turn them off until they get used again. Um, if we, if you take, like, an extremely long hiatus, the site gets essentially shut off to save data because it's expensive. It, it makes, it costs a lot to run these sites, and White does it essentially for free. The only person who has to pay for service is Vosh. But that's because Vosh basically was the one who started the idea to create this. The rest of us can contribute, but we don't have to. It's done because our, because our content is valued. So, yeah. It's super easy to re-enable. It's super easy to, to change it. So he just lied? Yeah, that's what he does. As you can as you can imagine, that's his main his main thing. He fucking loves that. Yeah, white uh white nervosa is in the right, as uh, obviously. Uh Rose Wrist is a balding soy uh uh dick bag who has thrown his weight behind one of the stupidest websites on the internet. A website, by the way, which if the tables were turned, would absolutely target him. But he just happens to agree with a guy they like now. So, you know. Is this why I haven't seen his content? I just got here. Uh, no, that's not why you haven't seen his content. He just doesn't make content. In fact, I think we can, if we go to his YouTube, I think we'll see, like, I think his video on me was, like, one of the last things that he did. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, actually, I am mistaken. Never mind, I take it back. He makes content about Keffels. And Destiny. Destiny. Swedish politics one month ago. Destiny, 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 destiny. Oh, here's me. Yeah, this is this is him talking about me in the Destiny manifesto. That's a little weird. Destiny, destiny, destiny. Uh Sweden. React video. Video anti video essayist. Politics. So he, three months ago he was doing politics. 
now he mostly does Destiny videos. So that's about it. Where's my, where's this video he did on me? Wait, it was, wait, this one was three months ago. He did a video about me, uh, about me, but about me in a manifesto, in an insane manifesto. Wait, did he get rid of the one that was about, did he get rid of the one that was like my debate with him? Wait, he reacted to my vegan gains debate? <laughs> okay. Oh, here it is. This is the one. Literally lying to her audience. God, this is such a bad video. It's like super, super edited. Oh, yeah, here's him trying to make me sound like an ad cap. God, he's so salty. Whew. Ah. Uh. Nah, nah, nah. We're not gonna react to this guy. He's irrelevant. He hasn't put, he hasn't posted a video in over a month. He doesn't stream anymore. He's just a sad, sad, pathetic fanboy. You know. <laughs>